सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा I welcome you all with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis sitting with us around the world at this moment in 450 places through NTV and 13 places in two-way connection in 129 cities in 23 countries. The city is sitting with us having two-way connection, having Nayana Diksha, Seattle, Toronto, San Jose, Vancouver, Singapore, Ohio, Guadalupe, Los Angeles, Oman, Annanagar. Blessings to all the centers sitting with us in two-way connection and Phoenix having two-way connection and having Nayana Diksha. My blessings to all the cities, temples sitting with us. Today's subject, youth. Transform yourself and take on, then take on the world. Today, we have a special youth conference from all over the USA. Many youngsters, youth have gathered in many of our temples and ashrams. My message today, for the youth, transform yourself, then take on the world. When I use the word transform, I mean align yourself to the peak performance of your body, mind and consciousness. Transformation is a continuous process. Start it when you are young. Don't waste your life in suffering. Initiate it when you are young. Bring light, bring clarity bring the mental setup which is courageous enough to take the risks. Understand? I run out your mind by removing all possible dilemmas and conflicts by bringing intelligence. At one point, the conflict and dilemmas cannot be solved by intellect. You not, just need to take a jump. The quantum jump. Where you need more courage, less knowledge. When I say transform, I mean these two things. First, Use knowledge and iron out your personality as much as you can. Removing dilemmas, conflicts, bringing clarity. Understand the purpose of human life. 
human body happen to you to experience the ultimate even if you have an ordinary tiredness something seriously wrong in your system understand tiredness is sin i can say original sin what is tiredness nothing but inability to align inability to align what you feel as you and what is you please understand what is you what is you is totality of all seven components of you physical body breathing body pranic body mental body thoughts emotional body subtle body the causal body body of all engrams put together the base and cosmic body the body of peace and bliss nirvanic body the ultimate you please understand i am giving you the straight truth the other day one ashramite who is really 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 devoted dedicated serving me he asked me swami ji just tell me in two three words the ultimate truth straight away so that i can work towards it i told him this one line eh there is no you there is no me there is no world there is no question there is no answer the ultimate truth is the idea you are having as you the idea you are having as me idea you are having as this world are all lies so do not believe any suffering or joy created by this that's all do not believe any suffering or any joy created by this over then what is life don't worry about that just go on don't believe the joy and suffering created by this three of course for him i told in his life only this three are the major component he me world <laughs> he doesn't have to he doesn't bother about god and all that of course when you don't even know anything about it basically how will you worry about it <laughs> so for many of your life this three are the major component the other day i told our pujari the temple priest all the pujas and rituals they are doing every day in the temple i told them put it in the website and if some people wanted to sponsor and offer they can come and do all these rituals and pujas and pay their devotion and respect to the deities and god i was telling who comes here swami ji if somebody comes here to do some homa puja if they see your pad puja <laughs> they go to that only <laughs> nobody goes to <laughs> do the toma puja anyhow at least the people who closely connected i'm not saying right or wrong and all that this is what is happening anyhow all i am trying to tell convey is at least for that person these three are the major component in his life you also look in the sacred secret i want to tell you through the sutra is whatever you think as major component in your life is not major understand 
that's all anything which makes you worry including the concept of transformation or enlightenment is not truth even if you are worried about enlightenment please understand it is not truth if you are freed about anything it is truth if you are worried about anything it is lie if you feel wow for, from last month now how much i have been transformed it's a truth if you feel oh god when will i be completely transformed it's a worry lie please understand if you feel oh god from last month to now how much i have been transformed it's truth if you feel oh god when will i be completely transformed it's a lie your idea about transformation is lie when you are worrying about transformation your idea about transformation is truth when you are celebrating your transformation because transformation is a continuous process even an incarnation can worry about its transformation even an ordinary man can celebrate about his transformation understand when you are celebrating about your transformation you are no more an ordinary man you are an incarnation even if the incarnation worries about his transformation he is no more an incarnation he is an ordinary man if you are celebrating about the small small transformations you had you are an incarnation if you are worrying about the small small transformation yet to be happening you are normal man see the whole negativity of the world is nothing but a small piece of sugar ant is trying to hide under his belly the same person asked me Swamiji, what about all these fellows who are doing corruption? Own the cosmos, punish. I do not know about the country law. Some country laws punish. That's country law. I do not know about the country law. I can tell you from the cosmic law. Cosmos does not even know. Even if you swindle, it is nothing but. a group of ants are taking sugar to their home one hand one ant on the way keeps one small sugar piece in his under his belly and says it is mine 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 hiding it and not allowing other ants to look that that's all nothing else what will that ant do poor fellow he has to die now leaving that whole sugar piece here today what will happen other ants which were around that ant will start eating this sugar piece that's all so understand the whole cosmos the large picture when you understand the large picture the lifestyle happens in you automatically is transformation that's all nothing else one young boy came to me i think during this inner awakening was addicted to drugs anything gives kick he is addicted to it that poor fellow came to me swami ji please somehow heal me get me out of addiction i looked into his eyes and told him look into my eyes and see the cosmos the moment he started looking he started shivering then he said 
oh, 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 oh. even if I see cosmos, what is the use? Get me out of addiction first. He is afraid to look into the cosmos, so he is trying to do some justification. I told him, don't worry, first look in. Finally, what happened? He looked into that. And that impact of that cosmic footprint on his consciousness, he was just out of addiction. Not only alcohol and all that drug things. Again, he came to me for next Kalpataru Sunday and said, Swamiji, not only I forgot about alcohol, drugs, cocaine and all that things. Now even coffee and tea seems to be too much. Understand? The larger picture's footprint, if it happens on your heart, transformation is side effect. Like in clay, if you put your foot, your footprint will happen. Same way, if the cosmic experience puts its footprint on you, the lines which appears in your heart is transformation. It's a side effect. So youth are the fresh clay. Not only in your head, in your heart also. Allow the cosmic larger picture to fall on you. I am reminding you once more the word I told to my close disciple. You see, understand? Whether I, whatever I say, the person is going to really work for it. So I am responsible for whatever word I am uttering. That kind of a word I need to give. And I cannot be giving any big sermon. I need to just say a few words. So this is the words I uttered. There is no you, there is no me, there is no world. So forget, disrespect the suffering and joy created by these three. That's all. Nothing else. I wanted to tell the youth this one as my message. Whatever is a prominent component in your life. It may be your career, education, money, health, relationships, power, anything. Understand, I am saying the joy and pains created by the important things ideas, priorities of your life, disrespect them. You may think, oh, then I'll become life negative. No, it is not. Understand? If you are having more joy, less suffering, and if you ignore them, you may become life negative. But I tell you, 100% of you are having more suffering, less joy. So if you ignore both of them, it will only be transforming. It will only be life positive. Just ignore. Don't try a cunning game. No, I will ignore all suffering, but I will keep all joys. No. Then you will keep the source of suffering in you. Root and the root cause. Both should be removed. Only then the transformation will happen. Understand? Root and root cause. In Siddha tradition, there is a beautiful word. Perodum veradi manodum. The word means the root and the mud around the root. Both should be removed. 
సేమ్ వే ద ఇగ్నరెన్స్ రూట్ అండ్ ద రూట్ కాస్ బోత్ షుడ్ బి రిమూవ్డ్ ఫర్ దట్ ద వన్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ వే especially for youth try if you are having too many doubts about what i am teaching if you are new to my teachings are new to me try this just for 3 days disregard all the suffering and joy created by the prominent aspects of your life sit and list out for that brahmachari for that person who, with whom i was talking to him the top priority in his life is this three only the idea he has about himself idea he has about me the idea he has about the world so you sit and list what are the three major prominent thing in your life disregard all the suffering and joy brought to you by the three that's all will i not become vagabond will i not become hippie will i not become useless will i not become anti social no you will become purely spiritual because when you disregard the joy and sufferings of the major components of your life the freedom you experience the wisdom you will experience will awaken the non mechanical parts of the brain and the creativity you express the joy you radiate the bliss you radiate more than joy the bliss unimaginable you will radiate unimaginable bliss just disregard now mentally calculate plan what all the major three things in your life disregard the joy and suffering brought to you by it i tell you the extraordinary transformation you will radiate you can't imagine i wanted to share only this one idea today and answer all your questions now live on this one truth how you can live it and how you can radiate it i'll now give you the deeper sacred secrets to radiate this truth in your life come on you can answer you can ask me any question related to this truths today expressed start i'll answer some of the questions sent by the youngsters earlier why do people become popular based on their looks it's from ally allies sunguro new jersey human being deep down as a craving for symmetry please understand things which look symmetrical human beings 
are not interested in taking the risk in their life with the spontaneous, paradoxical, chaotic things in life. They want things to be more and more systematic, mentally measurable, grabable, definable, whether it's the incidence of life or the body structure or the object. In everything, they want a certain system because they are not interested in living 24 hours in spontaneous, shining, powerful intelligence which will face anything, which will live through anything. No. No. They want everything to be systematized. No, we want, if this side of the face is this dimension, we want this side also same dimension. If this sand is this dimension, we want this sand also this dimension. Look means what? Nothing but symmetry. Fitting with certain understanding, that's all. You have certain understanding about look. So if somebody fits with it, it's called best. That's it. It is laziness of the human mind which is not ready to face the spontaneity goes on recognizing, respecting, expecting, look. They are not interested in not only facing people, even facing life situations which are paradoxical, challenging, chaotic, strong. When I utter the word, you can see the <laughs> power behind the word. Ordinary human beings doesn't want that. Very unfortunate. That's the reason. Look makes somebody popular. Why there is no peace in the world ever? Seems that someone is always dying because of anger and violence. Allies, there is no peace in you. That is why constantly you are looking at that part of the world. I tell you, whatever is in you, you look at that part of the world. Bring peace in your heart. You will see the world which is living in peace. Here is a question from Karthik, Columbus, Ohio. Swamiji, I am young at this point. Money is a priority in my life, but so is spirituality. How do I balance both and which one should I spend more time on? Come on. Spend time on making money properly with understanding. That is spirituality. I am not saying you need to prioritize any one thing. You need to get out of this conflict. That is spirituality. In a conflict-free way, if you spend time on creating money, you are doing spirituality. You are living spiritual life. How to be conflict-free? Listen to my discourses I have given on the N wealth. How to remove the conflict between spirituality and materialism? They are not two different things. Just bring understanding. You will understand. You don't need to prioritize there is only one direction in which you need to travel. Among the, from, this is from Surya, Singapore, among three, top three, joy and sorrow, love and importance I get from parents, wife, friends, relatives is important. I give this up. What is my motivation to work, earn and share the success? You don't need to be motivated. You are not buffalo. Please understand. 
only buffaloes need to be motivated surya you are a man you are a living being just live celebrate that you exist and yearn work share without expecting any joy and importance attention from others live for the sake of life that's it it is possible so i will leave you all today with less words but more time to contemplate i bless you all to achieve experience live express radiate and share the eternal bliss nityananda thank you